Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about how to confirm and delete data using Bootstrap pop up model. So, before getting started with the video, do subscribe to this channel and uh, hit on the bell icon. So, whenever I upload one new video, you will be getting notification. And uh, do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So in previous video, we discussed about how to delete the data. This delete data, it will just delete the data without giving us any information. Information in the sense like a warning. Uh, do you really want to delete this data? Something like that. In this video, we are going to see something of that kind, which will be getting a text informing that and deleting. So let's see how to do that. Before that, let's insert uh, two more data into it. And I'm going to tell and and it gmail.com save data and let me insert once again ben, ben at gmail.com save data so i've inserted two datas and uh, id number two three four is deleted actually okay let us go create one button here for confirm and delete and then we'll start with the coding part in index.php this was for edit data here one thing i wanted to tell was inside one document you can have all the click events performed no need to make this document ready again and again i'll just show you in this video okay so this is for edit okay this is for delete so let us give delete data and inside this itself will be performing there will be no issues let's close this now and go to index.php this is a div tag open this here let us give one header tell this confirm delete that is our button name let's copy this td and paste it here here we have to give a class name so give confirm delete button and here make sure you give a hash let us go reload this and check reload so i've got one button here let's give confirm delete data now reload we got that button so this is a button for confirm and delete so when i click on this button now i have to get one pop-up model indicating that are you sure you want to delete this data for that what we'll do is we have to copy paste the model before that let's copy this class name and here as i told this can be inside one document itself i'm just gonna add a comment line and tell confirm delete and here i'm gonna tell jq click so inside this click i'll paste that selector which is class so i'm using dot don't forget this let's console log console dot log and let's tell hello let us go test this code now reload right click inspect and here console click on confirm delete i am getting hello now i need to get the id so using this id i'll delete so for that i'll just comment this and here similar way how we have used here we can just copy this so paste it here and here what it is telling we are creating one user id variable and dollar this of closest value we are taking the closest value of tr is td we are finding that class and passing it here and telling text let's console log this now we will be getting the id uncomment and paste this user id inside hello now let's go reload click on id 6 confirm and delete i'm getting 6 if i click on 5 i'm getting 5 so i'm getting the id now now we have to show that model right so for that model what we have to do here is we already have model which we have used for view data and we have used for edit data right let's close this we'll just copy this thing itself so here for now i'm closing this div tag so here i'll copy this view model 
copy and paste it after edit okay here close and rename this to delete now open this i don't require this thing let's remove this and here instead of view user model rename that to delete user model with this model body we'll create an h4 tag and tell are you sure you want to delete this data are you sure you want to delete this data in an h4 tag i have just given a text so if they click on s then here what we'll have is let us copy the button from here let's copy this and paste it inside model footer format document so i just got one button i am just going to delete this i mean rename this name to delete delete data and here also i'll tell yes delete so when user is clicking this s delete data should get deleted right so here inside model body i'll create a form form of post and cut this cut this form and paste it after the model footer now just give one tab space after this we require id here so what we'll do is we'll create an input tag here input okay of text and i'm giving this name as user id give name as user id and give the id as user id i am giving both as user id okay now let us go reload this form and check first go reload and click on confirm data i am not getting so here why i am not getting is copy this id so here we should use this okay tell dollar of we are using id so i am using hash paste that id name tell dollar model so now let us go reload and check right click reload here i am getting one okay here i am getting one input tag but the id is not displayed we'll just do that but here we are getting the message perfectly are you sure you want to delete this data if yes data should get deleted before that we have to fetch the id into this for that what we have to do is let us change this to danger and we need the id to be fetched here right to fetch id inside this form what we have to do is copy this id just tell dollar id dot val and pass this user id okay so inside that particular id we are passing this so we are using id make sure you give a hash don't forget if you make mistake in this you will not be getting the output as expected let's comment to this console log and now let's go reload and check reload click on confirm data let us reload this once again and click we are not getting the id here let us make this input tag inside a model body and uh, the id is not coming let's check with that as well now let's cut this and paste it inside model body okay here we are not getting this id maybe because i am using user id everywhere is this happening let us try let us comment this first and here instead of giving user id we'll just tell confirm delete id okay i am just giving this name i'll copy this and paste it here let us now go reload check what we are getting so here reload reload now 
click on this confirm and delete button i am getting the id maybe somewhere the id was clashing so that we didn't get the output now we have changed the id name and we got the output as expected we got this id we are not gonna show this input tag we'll be hiding it just to check that if the value is getting into that input tag we just made it to text now we'll be changing that to hidden and when i click on this s delete the data has to get deleted let's go back here we have to use ajax right so jq ajax and copy this method and paste it here and tell this as post so method is going to post and url is code.php and data type is not required cut this and inside data we'll tell confirm delete button so if this is true we'll take the user id so user underscore id of this user id copy and paste we'll be passing the response here let us copy this confirm delete button and go to code.php with the post method before that let us hide this so here you have one input tag right make this to hidden now that will not be seen just reload and check okay are you sure you want to delete this data yes delete then data has to get deleted for that we have to write the code inside code.php here let us tell this as comment confirm delete data if a set of dollar post of this button is clicked then what has to happen instead of wasting our time in typing let us copy the entire code and paste it here here we will be taking the id dollar post and user id this query is going to be the same thing let us change the variable name to confirm delete so confirm delete copy and paste it here as well and give the run now copy this and paste it in the if part so we have just renamed the variable names the query and all is the same give a dollar now here just console log this response now go back we have one data left click on confirm delete data I'm getting this are you sure you want to delete this data when i click on yes the data is getting deleted and you can see there is no data here when there is no data we will be getting no record found so that's it in this video in next video we will be coming up with a new series of playlist i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video